Welcome to Kindle Love Stories. I am so excited today to be talking to author Julie James, the author of It Happened One Wedding. Welcome to Julie James. Thanks for having me here. Now let's just dive right in because first of all, I want to talk about your unbelievably witty banter in your books. You are brilliant at writing dialogue. Tell me how that comes about, how you do it, and if you're influenced by movies and television. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that my background in writing, I started with screenplays. Um, so the um, focus on dialogue certainly comes from that because you focus a lot on that in, in screenplays. But I think it's also something, I'm a big fan of um, older romantic comedy movies with all the back and forth banter between the hero and heroine, and also movies and um, TV shows that have a lot of that snappy dialogue like Friends and Modern Family and The West Wing. And since that's something that I like watching or reading, that's just something I tend to focus a lot on my stories as well. All those references do come through <laughs> in your writing. The other thing that comes through a lot, of course, is your background as a lawyer. You're a practicing lawyer, practicing litigator, and now you have that permeating into the storylines of your books. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, I practiced um, law in Chicago at a large firm for six years um, before I started writing full time. Um, and certainly that's something that when I first started writing, it was kind of a write what you know type thing. Um, so the heroines in my first two books um, are lawyers from large firms in Chicago <laughs> who specialize in employment discrimination, which is the exact field that I practiced in as well. But then with my third book, I started branching out a little bit. I started writing characters who were who are FBI agents, um, federal prosecutors. I have a heroine who's general counsel at a restaurant company, another who's a director at a private equity firm. And what I do for those characters, because I'm not as familiar with those professions as I reach out to friends or friends of friends who do that job, and I interview them about what they do. And then the stories that they tell me, sometimes those little anecdotes make their ways into the book. So I think it gives it sort of that extra feel of authenticity authenticity because it's things that actually happen to people in those jobs. And even if you've expanded the types of jobs, they're all still very career oriented, mm -hmm. very strong, very smart. Yes. Well, they're a lot like the women that I'm, you know, friends with and know. And, you know, I tend to draw a lot on that and their experiences. So, you know, I've noticed that you're very involved with your fan base, especially on Facebook. Mm hmm give and take with them. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about how they influence your writing. You know, occasionally I'll float out a potential idea or question for a future book. Um, I think that the most heated discussion we, that was ever going on on my Facebook page, I, I asked, could readers embrace a hero who had cheated in the past? I saw you ask yes. that. Wow, really strong opinions. Very strong opinions on that one. It was just really interesting for me to just sit back and sort of watch and everything. Um, so I'll do that if I just have like a nugget of an idea for a future book. For a book that I'm I'm actually writing, I don't actually tend to say very little about the book while I'm writing it. While I'm writing, I kind of just want to keep my head down and blinders on and um, not have any outside influences until I get the story out the way that I see it. Why, with your background, do you think you've chosen to write romance? You know, in some ways, romance chose me. Um, I had never read a romance um, until I started writing them. When I, I wrote Two, well, I wrote several screenplays. Um, I wrote one that, I wrote two that were optioned. One was a romantic comedy screenplay that, um, while option was never ultimately made into a movie. And when that fell through, my film agent said, if this wasn't meant to be a movie, I, I think it should have a home somewhere. Maybe you should try writing a, it as a book. And my response to him literally was, a book? But that's like 300 pages. <laughs> I don't know how to write a book. Um, Easy and he for said, you to say. Yeah, yeah. And he said, well, just give it a shot. So I did, and um, when I finished the book, he really liked it. So he passed it on to a literary agent friend of his on the East Coast, and um, she liked it. And long story short, we ended up with Berkeley. And in my first conversation with my editor, I kept calling the book a romantic comedy. And she said, oh, just so you know, in the literary world, we don't call this a romantic comedy. This is a contemporary romance. And I said, but I've never read a romance. And she said, well, you wrote one. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, you know, then once I knew that that was the genre that my book was going to be in, then I started reading romance and found, you know, that I really love the genre now. Yeah. Um, but so, you know, at first I was sort of a newbie and just kind of fell into it. Well, what do you love about romance? It's a genre that celebrates good moments and um, love and, you know, people connecting with other people. And um, I think there is a comfort for people in knowing that although the characters are going to have ups and downs and there are going to be obstacles, that, you know, the characters are going to triumph in the end. And I think they're like romantic comedy films. Those will always exist. They'll always be popular because we like 
having that comfort of knowing that things are going to turn out okay. People have stressful lives, they're busy, they have a lot going on, and sometimes it's nice just to be able to sit back and know, okay, this is all going to work out. And I think there's um, always going to be a big market for well-written stories that uplift um, and entertain people in that way. I think that's very well said. What is romance to you, personally? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think it could be a lot of things. Um, what interests me as a writer of contemporary romance is um, not just writing the big moments, the meet cute, the grand gesture, <laughs> um, although those are certainly fun to write too, but um, I like also writing the little moments that happen between a couple as they sort of navigate the trials and tribulations of dating and sort of work through any emotional baggage that they might have and um, ultimately decide, you know, this is somebody I want to be with for the rest of my life. It's interesting to hear you say that you like that because you write that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so you're right there in your books. Right. Well, life isn't all big moments, all grand gestures, and sometimes it's the little moments. And I think, you know, in real life, that's how it is, too. It's the little moments between two people that sometimes are the most romantic. Those are the ones that make my heart race, usually, mm -hmm. more than the grand gesture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is coming next for you? What can we look forward to? I had a book come out, It Happened One Wedding, um, and I'm working on my next book, it's another contemporary romance, and I'm very, very excited. This may be my favorite heroine that I've written yet. Oh, well, that's a nice tease. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll all be excited to read that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much to Julie James, author of It Happened One Wedding, for joining us on Kindle Love Stories. Thanks and, so much. Thank you. It has been such a pleasure speaking to you. This is Kindle Love Stories. For more interviews, go to kindlelovestories.com or to our Facebook page. And pick up Julie James' latest release at amazon.com. Mm -hmm.